Hello, this is Managed Services Platform on Account Management Episode 8, and we are going to talk about today really exciting stuff, how to use the reporting tool and other integrations like surveys, bry gauge, other reportings, your RMM tool, PSA tool, incorporating with uh, the central hub, uh, what we have. My I'm so excited about that, why you are excited about these uh, features. I just think it's the coolest thing to be able to build a totally interactive client engagement report. And uh, we know that every MSP is using all kinds of tools that output reports. And, and you wanna share all this information with your clients because it has value from all kinds of different perspectives. And so depending on the theme of your meeting, you might wanna share uh, information about backup and BDR continuity of their business. In another uh, account management meeting or QBR, you might want to share information on operational metrics and things that are happening. In another meeting, you might want to cover budgeting. In another meeting, you might want to cover security metrics, and so or or do surveys. I mean, the sky's the limit with the types of third-party applications you can now embed into uh, our reporting hub. So let, let's have a couple of examples because I think this is where you know the rubber meets the road. So. Uh, let's say first of all, like typical problem is like uh, the scheduling the next meetings, for example, what type of uh, embedding functions you can use for that? Yeah, the, the number one reason why the next quarterly business review doesn't happen is because we don't book it. I know that seems oddly almost funny, uh, obvious, but it happens because while we're with the client, we don't book the next meeting, so we don't close the loop. So you can embed things like Microsoft bookings or Calendly. Uh, right into your report. So you have it as a content widget, you embed it in there. And now when you get to that part of the meeting, oh yeah, let's book the next meeting before we carry on. And uh, then it's done. And you can make sure it's in both of your calendars already. And there's not going to be you chasing the client trying to schedule it. That's, that's, that's a big one. Okay, second best use case, what I heard about incorporating like an Office 365 Excel sheet inside the report, which is interactive. What's the best uh, use case for that or how you how you do that? I mean, budget's a great example. I think almost everybody's been using uh, some type of budgeting spreadsheet with your clients. We certainly have a couple templates as well. And you can embed it right into there and go through and, and review their budget with them every time you meet them so that you're making sure that you're on track with what you'd forecasted uh, for their spend. So that's a great example. You can do 10 points exercises with a spreadsheet um, it's all, I mean, it's lots of great, uh, spreadsheet examples. Yeah. It's, it's great because like, uh, you don't have to update. It's not like slice and dice things. It's actually when you change or do anything during the meeting, that's reflecting back to the original file. So that's, I think it's a big game changer because what's happening is that, uh, you are just listing all these items with a client, what can be actually. Um, come up with a meeting and you are not oh, okay I open up this file and that file and it's a structured way so it's really 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 cool okay next thing is that uh, uh, lots of clients was asking bright gauge bright gauge bright gauge yeah I'm so excited um, now you can showcase your bright gauge interactively showcase your bright gauge reports right inside your QBRs so take all your clients through all the operational metrics in terms of tickets you've been closing and everything else and and activities and, and all your speeds and feeds. I mean, we talked we talked about this a lot that um, it's not always what you want to lead with, yeah. with your clients, but it certainly has value and you've asked for it. So now you can embed it right into your reports. Yeah, and it's really powerful when they are like, when, when you would like to claim your value is like just, it's just showing how, how much information you are tracking. So you own the information. That means you are controlling the situation because you know, the service, uh, you know, it's not anecdotal, your service is good or bad, actually it's like, it's fact-based, right? So that's great. Uh, many people uh, put like Word documents there as well, like the, like the online version of Word. What the typical use case for using like a Word file? And so some of the examples we've seen, uh, contracts. So if you have a contract with your client, SLAs, um, any type of documentation like that, or if you wanted to showcase something that you were producing for your clients as well, like if in your previous meeting, they'd asked you to come up with some type of policy, 
uh, security policy, endpoint usage policy, mobile device usage policy. You could actually just embed it in right there and actually go through it with them in your meeting, make edits while you're working with the client as well, and then have it uh, prepared for the end of the meeting like that. That's perfect. Like uh, um, the, the next use case I heard about, uh, many times you have these smiley faces uh, on your tickets and you are chasing these customer feedbacks and uh, customer satisfaction scores. How you embed like those type of uh, information to the report? Yeah, so again, so you've got your customer satisfaction scores or your net promoter scores. You can embed those types of reports in there. Um, a lot of you are using different tools that you're sending out anytime there's a ticket closed. The the end user will get a survey in terms of, you know, happy face, sad face, no expression face, and how you can report back. Hey, by the way, this is the feedback we're getting from your team, your staff, your client staff uh, on how we're performing. And we just wanted to share with you that it's overall very good. That's that's really good. So actually, like if uh, like uh, what I see in one of our clients embedded a type form uh, survey completely. So they were using the data collection through a survey from the executives like business questions. So they were using something like that and that's producing like report and benchmark for them. So if you have like a some type of mini grading or things like that, that I saw that like people use that and survey monkey and things like that. So it's really, 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 really just imagination. Uh, the last two things which I saw people were using were PowerPoint presentations and and videos, like videos in a report, right? Like, tell me more about it because it's, it's start to be really exciting. Well, I mean, that's the thing, right? There's so many good marketing assets and sales assets that are produced for you by all of your vendor partners. I mean, if you go to Continuum or Datto or Webroot or Microsoft or anybody, they've got virtually unlimited marketing and sales presentation materials for you. So instead of trying to create your own and spending hours and hours and hours doing that, why don't you just take theirs, embed them right into your report so that as you're telling the story of your recommendations, that you're able to leverage those as well, embed a PowerPoint presentation. If you want, just select the slides that you want to use in that PowerPoint and just have those in there available for you. Um, by the way, there's a bunch of really, really good ones from Infotech and our vendor marketplace as well that are free downloadable uh, PowerPoint presentations. And then the videos, I mean, yeah, how many great 30 second video explanations of awesome technology are available to you right now by your vendor partners? Go grab a Microsoft video or something like that. It'll tell the story of what you're trying to do for you. And now you don't need to worry about all that marketing time and all that uh, content. I production. saw like a no before video, the security awareness training. So that right. was really yeah. cool because the client was telling us that uh, what he was doing that, you know, I can claim how, you know, problematic can be like the phishing attacks and things like that. But sure. going through like a two minute educational video, which has benchmarks and real use cases and, you know, stuff, which is super powerful. So it's not like me explaining, you know what, that's your decision. Let me explain uh, with a little video in a little music. And it's get like the meeting more interactive, more conversational. And actually what I like, one of the client told us that, you know what, the client experience matters. Like I'm there, they give me the time. They are not really interested on the technology, but they remember this meeting was something like more engaging, right? So I think this is what we should somehow figure out how to balance our goals to make sure they are progressing with the technology and get more maturity and to entertain and infotain than with uh, these type of things. So that's amazing and uh, why I'm excited based on the technology because we don't have to create these integrations and you wait for us that we put together the integration and the APIs and you log in and things like that. No, you can do it by yourself. So it's really, really great. Uh, great stuff. So I'm so excited about mice and probably later we're gonna share more and more and more best practices on that because it's just like the sky's the limit. So. Awesome. Anything more to share with this topic right now? No, that's, uh, I think that's it. I mean, go out there and try it. Anything that's web-based, you can embed in there. And if you're not sure, uh, just put it in the chat and let us know and we'll yeah, help you figure out how to do it. Uh, so if you're using something right now, any type of report, and you want to share that with your clients, 
but you want to make that a part of a bigger experience, a better experience for them, yep. tell us and we'll help you do it. And we do like a help section where we list out all these uh, typical use cases, how to make the HTML code. So if you don't find that on the help, but you have the tool, make sure we know because many times we just need to unlock uh, that internally for security reasons. So that's the thing sometimes a little bit of coding requirement for, from our self. So thank you very much, Mice, and that's really exciting. So guys, next uh, a week we are going to talk about the client engagement scoring features, which is going to make this whole experience to a next level when you are able to consistently uh, uh, create client engagement activities uh, with them and make sure they are experimenting uh, something really awesome from you. So see you guys next week and thanks, Mice, from your wisdom. No problem. Have a wonderful week, everyone.